shitsuge, or Japanese lacquer art, is a unique traditional craft. One of the representative decoration techniques used in the art of urushi lacquer is called makie. The ultimate beauty of makie has been nurtured by Japanese versatility, the aspiration of the artisan spirit, and remarkable techniques and tradition. In 1925, Makie series, which was produced with this Makie technique by Namiki Fountain Pen, acquired an outstanding reputation around the world. To this day, Namiki has never ceased improving this art of technique. Makie is a method that has been used to decorate various items in everyday life and culture among the upper class society in the country. Its beauty captures our hearts and never lets them go. And now, a new artistic work has joined Namiki. It is Chinkin a technique that has evolved differently than Makie. The general technique of Makie sprinkles gold and silver metal powders to express design drawn with urushi lacquer. On the contrary, in the art of chinkin, the urushi lacquered surface is engraved with a chisel and then after a new layer of urushi lacquer is rubbed into the grooves, gliding is done with gold and silver leaf or powders on the engraved pattern. The technique of chinkin came from China in the 14th century and became very popular in the 17th century. One man is said to have raised the artistic level of the lacquer art and changed the history of Chinkin. He is the late Taiho Mai, a living national treasure. He became a holder of the intangible cultural property of Chinkin in 1955. This is one of his masterpieces, a chinkin box with a design of cats reacting to someone's approach. In addition to the conventional way of line carving, new techniques such as one side carving and dot carving succeeded in expressing three-dimensionality, perspective, rich texture and a delicate softness that had never been seen in the traditional chinkin works. This cat looks like it is actually going to move if you reach out to open the lid. A new wind has blown to Chinkin. Shoji Michikami is a direct apprentice to Fumio Mai. He is one of the most expected craftsmen to lead the next generation in the art of chinkin. Recently his works have been exhibited overseas, including New York, attracting a lot of attention. They express Japanese traditional patterns and beauty in nature with bright colors.
everyone wonders how it is possible for him to engrave such smooth curving lines and express delicate designs. It seems his art has opened a new world. And now, this magnificent technique of chinkin joins the Namiki series. Chinkin never allows for even a moment of error. This is truly so with fountain pens. A high degree of caution is required for this small, thin, column-shaped surface. Okime, or copying the sketch, cannot be done easily because the surface is not flat. The carving process seems to last endlessly and moments pass by. In an instance between each moment, the soul and technique of a craftsman are poured into his work. The Urushi lacquer is rubbed into the surface and the gold flakes are applied. After a number of processes, the time of completion has come at last. The brilliance of chicken has begun to attain the fineness and delicacy that the craftsman had envisioned all along. It is the birth of the Namiki Chinkin series.